Hello, welcome to Never Unwrapping. This time, it's a record store day version of Phaedra by Tangerine Dream. On Tangerine Vinyl, it's a double this time, because it's got outtakes, so that makes it much more desirable, because I don't know how many times I've bought Phaedra over the years. Best one I've got so far, I think, is an SHM from Japan of Phaedra. That sounds pretty good. But they say it's taken from the tapes, this one, so there's a chance it could be better. You know, vinyl always has a chance of being better than CD. So um, we will have a look and see how tangerine it is. I doubt if I need to tell any Tangerine Dream fan about Phaedra, but it was recorded at the manor. And it probably needed to be recorded at the manor because of the um, size of those old Moog uh, synthesizers that they used back then. And they're uh, trying to keep them all in tune as well. Because as they warm up, they've got VCOs. And VCOs are a bit unstable, and uh, they go out of tune. And even when you have tuned them up, when it's all warm, they can still drift. <laughs> and I think in uh, Rubicon, when the... Uh, do 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 there's a bit where it goes out and I think that was um not deliberate but they went with it right I will save those stickers so we'll get them off in a minute but it's all about what what's gonna be on the inside of the gatefold and how how tangerine is this and they're both tangerine as well, both uh, both albums. Let's find out. All right. Ah, oh, looks so. Oh, it just reminds me of every head shop I've ever been in when I was in, in the seventies. Used to come home from school. There was one called Medina's up Colston Street in Bristol. They used to do little badges like with with liquid crystal in. You could push and change colour and all sorts of little psychedelic things and ah. Oh. God, it takes me back. Very, very trippy. Oh, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look here. Can't get it that, oh, get it an angle, there we go. I'm not bending it round on itself. Yeah, that's as close as I can get it. So, Phaedra, side two is the same, yep. Three tracks. Record two, flute organ piece of Bowman Frank Froese. Side two, Phaedra outtake version one. Phaedra outtake version 2B, an organ piece. Wow. That VCS3, Symphy, English synthesizer. Moogs, Mellotron. Guitar, bass, organ, piano, flute. All right. Oh, oh, it looks. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that's, oh, oh, it's got the original Virgin uh, logo. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice deep colours as well. Wow. Oh, it's every cheap sweet you've ever had. Oh, look. There's an... Oh, no. Oh, that's... Oh, what's that? That's, that's ink, I think. Ooh. Ooh. Goodness me. Some sort of ink in, in there. I thought that that was... Um, a little bit on the pressing, but that's... Uh, so quick look in there. There's no, that that is. Wow. Oh, it's so tangerine-y. I want to eat it. That was definitely a penny sweet back in the day. Probably a fizz bomb, I think. An orange fizz bomb. Yeah, it's definitely not a chew. It's, it's something hard you know, to work on. <laughs> oh, that, that's going to be a joy just, just to uh, have that on the turntable. See, I was humming and hanging about this, so I was thinking, should I bother? I've got a fade so many times. 
But then it's, it's got the... If it wouldn't have said it had the extras, I probably wouldn't have gone for it without realising what a nice, delicious, uh, vibrant tangerine. I don't know how well it's coming through. I'm looking on the camera screen. It doesn't look as bright. It's 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 nearly fluorescent. It's, it's definitely very uh, reflectively, brightly tangerine. Well, that's wonderful. That is very nice indeed. Now I need one of these for this sort because I'm going to keep the... Uh, definitely going to keep... Did I give it a clean? Let's give it a clean as well. Oh. The only trouble is with record store day stuff, if you don't get it on the day, you're going to have to pay a lot of money for it online. Because uh, they do this where they only release so many and then they make them very hard to get. But I must say, they only allow you to have one of each album when you go, so there won't be many people going down. Well, I guess you'd get somebody who might go down and buy them all and just try and sell them individually, but they won't, they won't be able to buy 20 of them or something. And they, they seem to be quite limited editions as well, this Record Store Day. So originally the Record Store Day was going to be in April this year. Um, of course, because of Covid, everything in the whole world's changed, hasn't it? So. Uh, they did it last week, last Saturday, which was the last Saturday of August 2020 in the UK. And they're going to have another three, I think, on Saturdays going through the autumn. Right, I just noticed there's something else in here. What is that? Stuck right... It is a digital download. All right, digital download as well. Please don't pass this code on. It's exclusive to you, okay. realize it had a digital download with it. Yeah, that sounds quite scratchy pulling that out. Oh, it's so nice to have the original Virgin logo as well. Sort of mirror image uh, woman. Wow, so we've got outtakes on vinyl of Phaedra. How about that? bit of charge on this one. That's gone now. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, this is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, this one. I didn't realise it was going to be that nice a colour. As I say, I've got so many different versions of Phaedra. And I've also got a live... Is it Blu-ray? I think it's a Blu-ray. But um, the live concert, they, they didn't use all their old synths, they used uh, plugins. And it certainly didn't sound the same, to be honest. Wow. So if you're new to Tangerine Dream, which I guess you probably won't be if you're watching this, um, the early ones is where I would start. I'd do Rubicon and Phaedra. I'd probably leave some of the like electronic meditations in that alone if I was here, because uh, in my opinion, they're not as good, not as musical and not as, they're more um, avant-garde actually, especially electronic meditation. But if you like one just long sort of uh, note, Zeit is an, an oddity. Green Desert as well, so that used to be only in the box set. You can get it separately now. Or if you want a sort of um, a more computery one, go for something like Exit. Exit's a brilliant album. One of my favourites. Shall I admit to something? Yeah, I, I listened to it on LSD when I was a teenager and um, I never got over it. Never admitted that on the camera before. 
and uh, yeah, I did. And it was, uh, I, I played it hundreds of times actually that day. I had um, one of these uh, record decks that you could have a repeat and it would just play one side or it'd actually play individual tracks. It had a hood that came over with a linear tracking arm and it could see the spaces on the uh, disc and it would, you could say play track one or two. It was quite nifty. But because the tiny little head shell was in the arm, all the vibrations in that went through the, the hood that you put over into the arm. So it wasn't the best sound quality, but at the time it was fantastic. And I, and I just had it on, uh, on repeat on uh, side one and exit and I listened to it for hours and uh, I'll never get over it and I uh, I really want to do it again. <laughs> but I'm quite old now. Wouldn't even know where to get anything like that now, but there we are. So, another record store day, Phaedra. Let's see how easy uh, these are to get off. I might put them on the inside if I can get them off actually. If you take your time with these, I know some people just say cut them out and then just put them put them in like that. But these don't seem too bad. If you get a bit where it suddenly goes to paper, you know, where it rips, and you haven't got the glue anymore, stop and just do um do a different angle. But just take your time, don't pull it too fast. And don't put it too far back, pull it at like 90 degrees. I can't believe, what am I doing? I'm giving instructions to someone online about how to take a sticker off of a piece of cling film. <laughs> oh, it's just experience. Let's see. There we go, none of the uh, sticky is left on the cling film. It's pulled a bit. You can see whether it's pulled, but it's the, the adhesive's still on there. So I'm gonna whack it right there, I think. It's gonna stay on the album this time. Yeah. It's a wonderful album. I don't know, this uh, Phaedra and Rubicon, I always consider like that they're siblings or something, brother and sister maybe. They, they're, they need to be together, Phaedra and Rubicon. I suppose they're, they're sort of similar. And in fact, I wish they'd done a few more which were. I guess it's the sort of the Mo sort of sequenced bass line that sort of does it, I guess. Do 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 that sort of thing, you know. Yes, I'm putting them actually on the album this time. Sometimes I put them on the sleeve, but this time they're going actually on the album. Oh I didn't get it straight. Damn. Not too late now. It's staying like that. I don't think that's no. It's staying like that. There we are. So record store day Phaedra by Tangerine Dream on Tangerine Vinyl Double with Extras. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.